Welcome to the Mystic Media Channel. I am your host, Rabina Rastavan, and today I am going to honor the request of a few of my subscribers, and also in honor of Gemini season, I'm going to get into the birth chart and numerology of Tupac. So Tupac was born on June 16, 1971, and that makes him a Gemini. Um, he's a very artistic Gemini because he was born on the 16th. However, the number 16 can be one of great misfortune, and it's also a number of karma. It's a number that carries heavy karma, and it can make one fall victim to catastrophe simply by association. Um, the number 16 is a highly spiritual number. It can make one very artistic, and it can cause one to uh, pursue a life in the entertainment world. The number 16 uh, gave Tupac uh, that versatility, as well as him being a Gemini. So 16 just amplified that. Um, 16 also uh, resulted in him being a dancer, him being an actor, and also a rapper. So uh, as I mentioned in the video I did about Aaliyah, Aaliyah was a 16, and she fell victim to catastrophe. Uh, 16s oftentimes, if they have a life in the entertainment world, will fall victim to some type of catastrophe uh, through an outside force at some part of some time in their life. They might also fall victim to scandal as well. So uh, Tupac has his Sun, Mercury, and Venus all in Gemini. And when I look at his chart, I see that most of his planets are in masculine signs. So that gave him a large dose of masculine energy. So that deals with why he was, um, that explains why he was so aggressive and so dominant in terms of his persona. Also, um, he had Mercury at the 18th degree of Gemini, and that can um, cause him to be very reckless in speech, very aggressive, uh, be a fighter when it comes to uh, the rights of others or when it comes to just um, wanting to get his point across, um, having a no-holds-bar approach when it comes to speaking. Also, uh, 18 breaks down to 9, which deals with Mars and Aries, so that made him a natural leader when it came to um, discussing issues of the day. Um, he was very, he was an avid um, reader. He loved to read books. He had a lot of knowledge, and he was an originator when it came to uh, certain ideas and certain concepts. So uh, this also made him basically uh, he would shoot off at the mouth. So that is the epitome of Mercury at the 18th degree of Gemini. Mercury deals with the conscious mind and also communication. Now, um, his Mercury was right next to his son. So when you have Mercury next to your son, it makes it kind of hard to separate your ego from your mind. So a lot of uh, your thoughts are egocentric. So a lot of times, you know, he would let his ego take control of his rational mind and that's how he was able you know he wound up getting caught up in a lot of you know media uh, scandals and getting a lot of bad press a lot of it was coming from his ego um now he had sun square pluto sun square pluto can make one prone to uh getting into crisis uh getting into drama attracting negative attention um getting in with the wrong crowd um, it can also cause him to uh, get caught up in a life of criminality or at least be attracted to that uh, thug life. However, um, even though he projected that thug life persona at times, that's not really who he was on a soul level. On a soul level, he was more of a you know, warm-hearted, caring, loving individual. But with Gemini, you have that dual persona. You have that angel and devil. So when he became a rapper... Um, you saw a lot of that angelic side with some of his songs like, uh, Dear Mama and, um, what's that other one? Um, Keep Your Head Up and When My Homies Call and he had good songs like that, but then he went uh, in another direction and started to, you know, champion thug life. But then even with the thug life, that concept was not really about thug in the literal sense. It was about a movement of the downtrodden of the oppressed and uplifting them. So he had that dichotomy within him of being a humanitarian and being, you know, of that street thug life. But he was really more so of the humanitarian type on a soul level, or basically that was what he was, he was supposed to ascribe 
to and or uh, strive to be, excuse me, in this lifetime, he was supposed to be more of a humanitarian than someone who is just bent upon fame and stardom. So that deals with his North Node and his South Node. North Node and South Node deals with your spiritual evolution. So his North Node uh, was in Aquarius, South Node in Leo. Leo deals with fame, popularity, and stardom and entertainment. Aquarius deals with humanitarianism. It deals with fighting for uh, causes. It deals with fighting for the press. It deals with liberation. So, and it also deals with activism. So he had both of the things going on, but because Tupac chose the life of fame and popularity over his calling to be a humanitarian, he got caught up in the process. Add Mars into the mix. Mars was conjunct his North Node in um, Aquarius, and that brings the element of violence, aggression, and even murder to the extreme. Um, Mars deals with um, fighting, it deals with war, it deals with um, opponents, it deals with um, being attacked. So uh, Mars also deals with leadership. So he did, you know, lead causes and he had campaigns. Um, the North Node in Aquarius also deals with his mother being um, a member of the Black Panthers and how he uh, got that activism bit from her. So um, that's just part one on my video of Tupac. Basically, the bottom line is the reason why he got caught up is he's a number 16, um, heavy karma. He was supposed to live a life more of spirituality than materialism. He got caught up through his South Node, which uh, deals with fame, entertainment, and popularity, and stardom, which is Leo, instead of living through his North Node, which uh, dealt with his spiritual evolution, what he needed to strive towards, and that was humanitarianism, activism. Um, Negating the ego, being more about the collective, putting yourself, um, you know, in the background and, you know, being about the people. He was about that, but he let the fame and the stardom get the best of him. And it's crazy how Suge Knight's uh, chart ties into Tupac. So in part two, I'm going to tie that all in. He also has some asteroids that um, deal with his downfall as well. But basically, I just wanted to... Um, you know, talk about his North Node and South Node and that Gemini energy and the number 16 and how that led to his downfall. So Tupac was not supposed to be ego oriented in this lifetime. 16s, when they are ego oriented, they tend to be humble to a great de uh, degree and they will um, fall to great depths. So I hope you found this enlightening and informative. Stay tuned for part two. Peace and blessings.